Well, let's see. Uh, so here's uh, here's kind of a generic uh, clay head on an armature that I had started uh, from a previous project, and uh, so this will be the basis of the Vermin Supreme bust, collectible bust, soon to be uh, referenced for the uh, the full scale version in the Presidential Library. Uh, so this is an oil-based clay called Chavant uh, NSP, non-sulfur plasticine. Uh, so it's just a modeling clay uh, that is kind of a standard. And so what I will do is I will study these ref various reference photos that I got of Vermin and uh, get this to look like him and then uh, this is, we're thinking maybe a little bit more like the serious, the presidential shot. And uh, it will have the full scale boot, or not full scale, it'll be half scale, but it'll be the full boot for, uh, for this. So the sculpture eventually will be probably about this high. I'm looking forward to sculpting that beard, I can tell you that much. And yeah, I'll have the shoulders. And it'll probably come out in like a V shape, like like a typical classical portrait bust, and have some sort of a a base, a stylized base built in. So it'll all be one piece. And uh, if I can, I'd, I'd, this isn't any, a promise, but I'd I'd like to put uh, maybe a relief of a toothbrush or some kind of stylized element of a pony in a toothbrush, something like that. Maybe two toothbrushes coming across like a, in a decorative way. Uh, I'll just have to see what happens. And uh, I'll finish it with a, a bronze paint and we can, uh, so it, it'll look like it's bronze. It'll just be a plastic material, but uh, but your friends and family won't have to know that. And uh, it'll be very respectable and uh, make you the envy of every lunatic in the country. Hand sculpted the way they did it back in the day when people made things before computers took over the world. Back when America was America. Vermin Supreme. I approve this message. 